Okay guys, what I'm trying to do is show you how I finally figured out how to get Plex server running on my AT&T router. Um, so, first thing I wanted to do was show you, let's see, this, and this is what I was getting, not available for outside your network. And so what I did, no matter what, I tried to kept failing. I pieced together a couple of videos and I finally got it to work. So you want to make sure you have this check for manually specifying public port. And this is going to be your port you want to use, 32400. Okay, let's go down, get out of here. Now, I found this program I had on my computer for a while. It's called Port Forwarding Utilities Network. You can download it, Google it, and it's got like a trial version. It'll let you change your um, IP to a static IP address. So, in order, once you get it downloaded, and you just click on the trial version, you'll get these pop-ups and stuff. You click on that, and then you want to click on yes and right here you're just gonna click on this it's gonna say make it static this is a little box you want to click on and I've already done it so once you click on it it'll change your IP to a static IP address okay so once you did that you got your static get out of here okay so the next thing I wanted to do was open up my web browser and this is where we're going to go into our router. So, I'm going to click on that. And for the web browser to open up for AT&T, it's 192.168.1.254. And I heard that's for most cases. So, you're going to hit enter once you enter that. It's going to take a minute. Okay, once I get to this screen, as you can see, I'm going to go into settings. Okay, next thing I want to do is go into firewall. Now you want to click on application pinholes and DMX, a Z. And this is the part I kept messing up. I kept getting confused on it. So what you need to do is find what your computer, the name of your computer is, what it's running on. So you find your name of your computer, which mine is this. And if you don't know the name of it, you can do this. Click on your little icon or explorer and click on my PC or this PC, excuse me. Like I'm using the C drive, so you can right click on it and hit properties. Oops, wrong thing. Make sure you hit properties on my this PC. You do that, and it'll bring up the name of your PC right there. Okay, click out of there. Out of there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to click on actually, before I do that, I'm going to make Go down here to add new user defined application. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call this Plex server. I've already done it before, so it's already in there. Just type in Plex server for that. You leave this one highlighted the TCP. I'm going to change this to 32400. Same thing with this. Timeout. I use that 86400 number in there, so I use that. And then for this, I made it the same as these two. And I left that blank. <clears throat> okay, now you're gonna hit Add to List.
Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing for this, the UDP. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Put that 32400 on there. I'm do the same thing for this box. And for the this, I'm going to use the 600 number. And then I'll do the same thing for up here. I'll add that same number for this right here. Then I'll add to list. Okay, once it shows, you got them both down there, it pops up. Now I'm going to hit back. Okay. So now, let's see. I want to go over to the name of my computer. I'm going to click on it. And this is the name of the computer that it runs to. I think I explained it earlier. All right, so now we've got, we've chosen the name of our computer. So next thing I want to do is come down here and I want to highlight allow individual applications. Make sure you click that. Then we're going to go look for the Plex or whatever you named it in this box down here. So, so it should be showing up in here somewhere. Here is Plex server. I'm going to hit C. can't remember if I was supposed to hit save or add. Let's do save first. All right. Let's go back down here again. And then we're going to go find it again and we're going to add it. I think that's all I had to do. server. I'm going to hit add. All right. So it's in the box right here. All right, we'll down screen this. Let's open up and see if it opens. All right, I'll play the server. Thanks. Let's see. Just gotta check. See if it does off again. Still staying on. That looked like that was how I did it. So I hope that helps you out. Cause it took me a while pulling my hair out doing this.